Yo guys, what's going on? It's Boyle Central here with a brand new video. As you can tell, yes, I am on my bed, but this is like the only space that I have. Today's video is going to be what is my setup? What is on my setup? All right, first things first is my MacBook Pro. This is a 2015 or mid 2015 uh, edition. So 15 inches. This thing has been great to me for being able to edit those videos. Uh, this is not the best product to buy to try to game on. It's a laptop, it's portable, uh, but it does not have that gaming PC power like a Windows PC would have. Uh, this is more uh, used for gaming, or this is more used for being able to make and edit and upload videos and whatnot. So without this, honestly guys, I probably wouldn't have this channel. Uh, so for this, you know, I, I have to thank my, my grandma or my nana for this because um, she is the one who got it for me for my 16th birthday. So the second thing I wanted to do is I wanted to give more of a Windows uh, setup feel. So I ended up buying more uh, products that work with Windows but also work with Mac. Um, so one of the first things I ended up getting was, where's it at here? I got this Corsair MM300 uh, extended mouse mat. Now this guy has been amazing to me. Uh, really good for my mouse, really good for the keyboard. I love it. Really. Um, extended and I mean it, it's it cost me like 25 30 bucks uh, but for the price Corsair makes amazing products highly recommend getting one of these guys if you haven't already and then with the mouse mat of course you got to get a mouse uh, at the time I wasn't sure what to get I actually did want to get the Razer Death Adder uh, Elite Chroma but they did not have any in stock and they weren't gonna get any for a while um, I did find a overwatch Death Adder Chroma mouse, and this thing is just as good as the Death Adder uh, Elite Chroma, which is just the black. Um, the only thing that's different between this and the regular one is that the Overwatch logo does not glow all of the colors; it's just one color, and then the, on the scroll it does all the colors. So, and these are all programmable through the Razer Synapse app um, or. Uh, program that you can download on the computer. This off to the side. The next thing that I bought was a keyboard. Now at the time I didn't really have much money uh, to be spending. I did want to get the, a lot of this stuff is Razer. I did want to get the Razer Black Widow X um, Chroma with the number pad and whatnot. Uh, just at the time it was really expensive and I couldn't afford it but what I did end up getting was the Razer Black Widow X but the tournament ready. Um, keyboard this is without the number pad and uh, the extra stuff that's on the side so it's just basically a keyboard and then cut off without all the other extra numbers and whatnot so uh, this was a really good keyboard I still do have it I do not use it so I probably will be posting this for sale on Facebook so if you guys are watching this video you're interested in buying this product let me know um, I'll probably list this guy for maybe 30 40 bucks switch from this guy to the Black Widow X Chroma with the extended pad. So I do have the numbers on the side now, give you a better view. Uh, but this is essentially the same thing with the number pad. Now the number pad will help me because I can play games and I can program these numbers to do things. So it's even more programmable keys. One thing I realized when I was making game videos and just videos in general, the audio was not good enough. The audio was just, it wasn't good. I wanted a better audio experience for my viewers and uh, that's exactly what I did. So I went out and I bought the Blue Yeti uh, microphone. I still have it, I still use it to this day. It's a great microphone. I highly recommend it for uh, beginning uh, YouTubers like myself. Um, it's something to really get that crisp and clear audio. The only downside to this thing is this guy does pick up a lot of background noise, but don't get me wrong, when it's just you and it's quiet in your house or wherever you're at, and it's nice and peaceful and quiet, this thing is a beast at being able to get some crisp body, uh, crispy audio. A scissor arm uh, stand for um, the microphone, of course. 
Uh, and this has done me a great job. It's perfect. It moves around a lot. Um, I can kind of put it wherever I want to put it, and it can still the audio can still pick up perfectly fine. Um, and then one of the other boxes that I don't have is a um, I have a pop filter, like an actual pop pop filter, and then I have a sleeve pop filter cover. Uh, so I don't use the pop pop cover right now. I'm using the sleeve pop filter cover. Uh, the next thing that I did end up picking up was a webcam. I wanted better uh, quality. You know, the camera on the MacBook doesn't do justice, so I needed a better uh, quality for my video. And I ended up getting this guy on Black Friday. This is the Logitech C922 Pro Stream webcam. Uh, this thing has been very very good to me. Uh, does great with the video quality. Uh, Xbox One S. Gears of War edition. I, I don't like switching batteries and buying AA batteries, um, but these guys, I have more than actually four, but I've, I've just found four. I probably have like more like seven or eight of these laying around somewhere. Um, but as you can tell, I have so many of them, they break very easily. So let me tell you guys right now, these are great products, but if you're like me and you drop your controller a lot, or at all while you're charging the controller and you're using it as a wired uh, setup, if you drop it, that wire is going or the, the the plug where you push uh, put it in to to charge the controller, it's gonna break super easily and it's not gonna charge the controller. This guy right here, this is the Energizer um, two controller uh, charger setup. Now what this does is it's got its own little back clip that you take off the original and put this one on and you throw it on this little nice stand right here and it literally just charges your controller. Once it's green, that means it's, it's, it's good to go. You don't have to charge it anymore. Um, and I believe while it's also green, it actually stops the charge um, and it, it keeps the charge at 100. So you don't have to worry about battery draining issues or anything like that. Now for headsets, I've had tons of headsets. Um, all of them, which have been Turtle Beaches, uh, the last pair that I have had was the Turtle Beach X07 Pros. Um, those treated me fairly well, um, but I was looking for something better, a better investment, better audio, better mic quality, um, something that you know felt more comfortable to me. And what I ended up getting was the Astro A40 Tournament Ready Edition headset. This thing has been amazing to me. I love it so much. I would never get any other headset over this one. Uh, I mean, if I did get another headset, it would be like the Turtle Beach Elite. Um, because, you know, just... If I was to get another headset, I would get the Turtle Beach Elites. Just because uh, I've heard great things about those. To, you know, the competitive players use them. So I'd imagine that they're pretty good. Um, but as of right now, I cannot complain at all about this headset. This thing has been amazing to me. Uh, it's got its own mix amp, so you're not, you know, connected to the controller at all. What you do is you are connected to the mix amp. So from the headset to the mix amp, and then from the mix amp to the console, that's how this works. Your controller is still completely wireless. Um, I wanted to get this because I didn't want to have to worry about getting an A50 wireless and then having to charge the batteries on those. This doesn't take like any charging at all. It's all connected wired, um, but you are still wireless on your controller. So that's a big deal for me. Um, this guy is definitely an investment. I still got him out of steel. I got him for like 50 bucks off, um, but this is still really expensive as is. So for those of you who are, are trying to decide, um, if, you, if you have like a setup like me um, and not like a home, like home theater setup, uh, and you're more like a studio and everything's kind of like on a desk and you're more of a desk player, I would recommend getting one of these. Um, or at least checking out like the the new uh, budget Astros, which is like the, the Astro A10s and the Astro A20s. Um, those are a lot more cheaper and I'd probably look into getting those first. But if you're just wanting to go all out bang for your buck and not have to worry about ever getting another headset, highly recommend the Astro A40. Um, tournament ready edition headsets. Now the tournament readies, all it means is that you can pop off the ear cups, the headband, and the um, outer piece um, and change them out. They're all customizable. You can do whatever you want, but in case you guys are wondering, this is a box. Very, very cool box. Tons of instructions here. All of what it does. Um, I'll just let you guys know right now. Might as well. Um, 
So the A40, it's got pro audio quality, superior fit and finish, swappable precision microphones. You can even swap the mic out with a custom one. It's a mod kit ready, so mod kits for like the ear cups, the uh, outer pieces, and then the headband. And then it's tuned with Astro uh, Gaming Audio. Dolby Surround Sound 7.1, which is good. Customizable stream output, so it's, it's all customized through the uh, program that you can download onto your computer through the, um, for me, it'd be my MacBook, and then I can use the um, MixAmp to control all the custom settings and whatnot. Uh, you can daisy chain these for more uh, better audio. If you daisy chain, that means that you are hearing exactly what someone is saying at the same time. Both your mix amps are connected together um, and there's no lag in between. Um, and then of course the custom software. So for 250 bucks, it's an investment, but if you plan on never getting your money back and you're just doing it for the fun, that's awesome. If you plan on getting your money back somehow, even better. So for me, it's one of those things where I'd like to see a return in this eventually um, and, you know, continue to make more. But um, this is a bang for your buck for sure. Highly recommend it. Best headset I've ever had. So enough talk about the Astros. Those are a big guy to really talk about. Uh, it's a big investment for me. Um, so yeah, my controller, my white one that came with the Xbox, um, I've never had any problems with it. I just felt like the white was a little plain to me and I wanted to switch it up a little bit. And I didn't want to get the Elite. I've already gotten the Elite controller and I took it back because that controller was super heavy. Um, and I don't want to get a scuff because I know that eventually I'm gonna to go to PlayStation and the PlayStation impacts, uh, scuff impacts, those controllers are really, really cool. Uh, and Xbox is just like, I'd rather just get a Microsoft controller. So, end up getting this guy. This is an all red version. Um, super, super cool controller. I love it. Uh, it's got a nice, you know, two tone red to it. And uh, it's a great controller. It's just, it's another controller to have. So, uh, I use this. And then I have the original black controller that comes with the original Xbox because I gave the Xbox One S controller to my stepbrother because he got the Astro A10s. And uh, he needed a 3.5 millimeter jack in order to use it. So I said, hey man, here you go. I got another controller that I can use. Uh, no worries. So I just had the black one just in case. So this guy's really cool. Love it. Um, it is a little bit expensive. This is 65 bucks plus tax. So um, completely up to you if you want to get it. But for me, I love it. I, it's what I use every day. So yeah. And then some of you guys are probably wondering how have I uploaded some of my gameplay. Most recently I've been uploading it. Um, or how have I been streaming it and getting the video quality. I've been getting all that through the um, Xbox recently, but I actually just found, like an hour ago, I just found where my Elgato Gaming uh, capture card went. When, when I moved, I, I lost it and I never knew where it went and I just recently found it, so that's kind of cool. Um, highly recommend this guy. This guy is great to record uh, anything that you are wanting to show your audience, whether it's gaming or whether it's something on your computer. Uh, this is a great way to show um, video. And this guy does 1080p at 60 frames a second. There are better Elgato uh, capture cards now, but for 1080p at 60 frames, it's still really, really good. How do I charge all of this stuff? Or how do I power all of this stuff? And that is with the Insignia Surge Protector. This is a uh, Aki USB hub extender. Uh, and what that does is for all my USB powered uh, keyboard, the mouse, uh, my Elgato gaming capture card, all that stuff is being powered through this because on the MacBook there aren't enough USB ports. And um, I need an extender to power all this stuff. So this is what I use um, for the mic. Uh, the mouse, the keyboard, the capture card, all that stuff, the webcam. That's what I use to um, record or to be able to use all of this stuff. So this is it right here, basically. Um, one thing I actually am forgetting to show you, I just never took it out because it's way up in there. That is the, that's just one box. The other box, uh, I believe, I just got kind of rid of because uh, it was at my dad's. But um, that's these guys right here. The Acer monitors, these things are insanely good at quality. They're 4K monitors, um, you know, and then at like 
reading 1080p is like it's still really crisp and really good um it's 144 hertz monitor with a millisecond response time uh 28 inches so much stuff about it is just really really good i love the monitors they're dope i'm i'm doing a dual setup of them both so i got two of the same ones which is really really cool uh thanks to my dad for that that was a birthday or yeah that was a birthday gift so really really cool gift but guys if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like uh if you have any questions comments or concerns or uh, if you're wondering about a certain product and you're curious to know uh if you should get it or not go ahead and leave that down in the comment below or in the comments below and i'll try to you know help answer your questions or if you you're like should i buy this should i wait should i get something better um is it going to be more bang for my buck? Anything like that? Let me know in the comments below. If you're feeling spunky, please do hit that subscribe button. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, of course, as you guys can tell, we've recently surpassed 200 subs. Go you guys. You guys are amazing. I can't wait to continue the journey, of course. Um, thank you so much. Um, by the way, uh, on the vlog, I have introduced who is the winner of the giveaway. So that's going to be um, really, really cool. Hopefully... Um, that lucky subscriber enjoys the giveaway and yeah anyways yeah that's that's basically it guys i'm, I'm running on and on so peace <laughs>